that's actually the right height. All right, first time I'm ever shooting uh, Carcano. I got a clip loaded up. Is it gonna lock in? There it goes. You have to kind of push it hard to get it to lock in. That's not a good sign. All right, let's just get that one out. And that is really stiff. All right. Well, these rounds might not be very good. <laughs> Wait, seriously? All right. I thought I deleted a whole bunch of stuff. All right. Yeah, see, nothing. Yeah. Well, one more time. It's got a lot of, yeah. Well, I'm gonna call it and that's the video. All right, fast forward a week and I have new springs in the striker. They are heavier, I can feel there's a difference when I was putting it back together and there was a link difference between the, the old one and the one I just put in. So it is definitely a stronger spring, but it's still not setting off the primers. Now here is a pulled bullet. There's the bullet and here's the powder. Now I found out that, well, it's not really powder, it's Corridite. And it kind of surprised me the first time I saw it. Let's see if I can get it all to come out of here. All right, yep, it's empty. So there is the Corridite. This is actually the second casing I've pulled. And the first one, the powder burnt just fine. So we're gonna burn that really quick and show you that the powder on these cartridges is just fine, or the Corridite, I should call it. See? Burns just fine. All right, so I have the cartridge. And you're not going to hear anything. Click. And we have a primer strike. Oh, we'll try one more time, but it is not setting off the primer. And it has a brand new striker in it. So you can see it is hitting the kind of shallow, but it is hitting it. And actually, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it almost looks like it's pushing the whole primer back into the cartridge. Just a little bit. So it looks just slightly pushed in versus the other. I don't know if the camera is really showing that, but it is striking it and it's not going off. These cartridges are notorious for having bad primers. And look how many of these things I have. <laughs> And uh, they're all bad. And you can see there's some corrosion going on right there on the back of the cartridge. And they're in various conditions. Interesting enough, here is the primer hit when I was at the range. Here is the primer hit on the cartridge I just put in. They're about the same, to be honest with you. And, <laughs> but this uh, primer is definitely pushed in a lot further than this one is. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but that primer is significantly sunk into the casing. So it's hitting it pretty hard. 
So the powder's fine. Uh, obviously, the bullet's fine, but the primer is not. So there's our weak link, and that's why they're not going off. Well, hopefully that's why it's not going off. I'm going to get some PPU coming in pretty soon. Um, hopefully in the next day or so. So maybe next week I'll have a video with this gun with some modern PPU ammunition. And we'll see how well it shoots. But this surplus stuff, not one round was able to go off. So, and I have two of these boxes <laughs> filled with ammunition that apparently does not want to go off. That is just lovely. Just absolutely lovely. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I think, I think it's the ammunition. I don't think that it's uh, an issue with the rifle, but who knows? Maybe I'll take the PPU out and it won't do it either. I'd be very surprised. I think it's the ammo. But anyways, I hope you uh, guys found this interesting or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, this is a project gun, and I was hoping at very least the project wasn't, you know, getting the rounds to go off. I, I was hoping the project was just making the stock not fall apart. Anyways, hopefully I'll have a video up soon about something successful. 